November 1st, water's starting to cool down now. I'm gonna try for some shallow water sheep's head today. Let's go ahead and get started. Got a pile of them this morning. They are pretty. Fishing about eight or ten feet of water here. See if anything's down there. Yep. Yep, they're down there. They're down there. I didn't even feel him bite. Thirteen and a quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and let some of these smaller ones go today. There's there's a bunch of them here. Ooh. Nice to get in some of these today. fish there. Look at that. Well, that's a ringtail. Ooh. Stealing my crabs. Yeah, they're down there. Some decent sized puffers. That's a good one. to the fork. All right, let's start keeping a couple. It's a little cooler today. Don't have room for much fish. Nice 
Nice sheep. Nice one. Get on board. Got very limited ability to net over here. Gonna sling them on board. That's a pretty one there. and a half all right let's see if we can find room Went and bought a bunch of shrimp this morning look at these beautiful shrimp nah, I'm not gonna keep a whole lot can't keep a whole lot of fish today let's keep going set right in the corner that's a pretty fish man where are you gonna where am I gonna put this guy I have to make some room oh, man. these two aught mustads today just gotta make sure they're sharp yeah they're they're working good Let's see how big this guy is seventeen and three quarters capacity guys fishing out here is like fishing in the ocean on a decently rough day so be mindful of that I got all my fenders set up and uh, set up for success here but if you're squeamish you can get seasick out here so keep that in mind but uh real productive tide's starting to come in real good now and uh the fish are biting good let's keep going these guys down there too we don't have room for you
that's going to do it for this spot, guys. It's just getting too rough out here. The tide's coming in pretty good. We're going to go find somewhere else to fish. Had somebody asking about how I tie off to the bridge. Let me show you how I create this slack line. Just get you a bungee. Usually just find them on the side of the road. And what I like to do is just bend this piece over. Give yourself plenty of slack here. And then just tie an overhand knot. Now the next thing I like to do is just wind this around the bungee. You can go pretty tight, but not, not too tight here. Just, just kind of give yourself some slack. So just tie it off to this end of the bungee and now you've got a pretty good spring line. All right, when you go to tie to the bridge or wherever you're going to, tie it off pretty low. You see, I got this one pretty high because it's high tide, but um, tie it off pretty low and you're gonna be using the, the bowline knot. That way it's not gonna bind down. Let me show you how to do that. Just do a backwards four is the way I like to look at it or backwards nine tie an overhand knot, pull, and back up through. So there's your bowline. When you want to untie it, just flip it over, pull this down, and you can get it out pretty easy. So that's pretty much how I do it. Uh, give yourself plenty of line on both sides. It's going to give you some some play. And, uh, you know, move your, move your lines from, from left to right, depending on if you want to be further or closer to the bridge. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. this morning. See if we can catch a drum.
this is, it seems to have given up. Cooler's full. Had a great deal on some shrimp this morning. I just couldn't pass up, but I was able to fit three sheep's head in there. So got some work to do. Gonna go clean shrimp and clean fish. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.